Hi everybody, it's Martin Flick and Feathers again today. I'm trying to dry fly for you this time. It's a uh, fan better as usual. I'm trying a, an Iron Blue Dunn version. As always, I'll put the materials list in the description along with a link to my Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be entered into the monthly giveaways. There's also a PayPal link as well. So I'll get my hook in my vise. It's a size 16, standard dry fly hook. It's a TMCO 100, but use what you like. I'm going to start my thread. This is sort of burgundy, claret colour. I'll get a wee bed on it and I'll come back to my wing position, which is about a quarter to a third of the way down the shank. For the wing, I'm using Snowshoe Rabbit, and I've got, this one's been dyed done, don't know how well you can see that, it's just nice, it's a nice colour for the, the, the iron blue, or any of this really. Um, I'm just going to take a clump, and cut it free. from the foot and I'm just going to hold the clump and pull out all this short under for and that makes nice dubbing so keep that for the body and then any guard hairs I'm just going to pull them away and you don't want the spiky guard hairs you just want this sort of soft crinkly fur keep your guard hairs set them aside as well for the tail Wing length, well, up wing flies, you're looking length of the hook, length of the shank, length of the hook, right? I mean, a lot of people don't like that long wing, but if you look at an actual, any of the up wings, their wings are the length of their body. So, I'll be actually a wee bit short, so I'll just go back. Let's try that again. There we go. There. Pinch and loop. That's better. Lift it up. Take a few wraps to secure it, and then. Hold the butt places vertically and cut them with a horizontal cut and that will sort of taper the edge slightly. Run your thread back until the start of the bend so that if you stop your thread it will be hanging right in line with the barb. Then you can pick up your guard hairs again. Don't worry if they've become sort of come out align alignment, you can just sort of hand stack them. You don't need a ton of them. Just uh, obviously depending on the size of the fly you're tying, you can select the size of clump, but I'm going for something about like this. Tail length's the length of the, the body. Catch them in. I'll take a turn below it so I cock them up and lock them in. Then it will trim the waist, the length of the body, or the length of the abdomen. And tidy everything up so I've got a nice smooth foundation of that burgundy thread, right? I want that colour to show through. Now, also because it's an iron blue, I like to leave a wee band. Of the burgundy thread just showing. Right, just to give that wee hint of colour. And now for the the rest of the fly, I'm just using a dubbin. And this is the under fur from the rabbit foot mixed with some mole fur. Right, the mole just to darken it and give you that sort of nice inky, inky blue done colour. 
So, getting a sparse noodle that I've been on here. Right, you don't want loads, I mean really you want the the thread to sort of show through the dubbing a wee bit to get that colour. So once I get my dubbing caught we'll just tighten it up as I go, build up a nice body, come right up to the back of the wing, and then I'll come to the front and I'll build up against it to support it. Make sure and keep that dubbing nice and tight. You can even if you want, you can run your thread through it. Just to tidy up, tighten things up. Put a tiny amount more, just, just enough to colour the thread and, sm and smooth that a wee bit. The thorax and sort of head area. I just feel I want a wee tiny amount. There we go. Build that up. Come to the front. Two or three turns to build up your head. And then the last thing is just the whip finish and varnish. So I'll just sweep everything back out of the way and make my thread head. Three, four turns is plenty. Tidy up. Bring your wing back up. Trim that side of the way. And there you go. That's it. The iron blue usual. Very nice wee fly. I mean, the usual you can tie them in all sizes and colours to suit whatever's hatching. And they float very well, they're quite visible, well worth having in your box. So, I hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give my thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.